Anyway. Hello, I'm filming you. Really? He's got no pants on, so I can't. I can't go down. I wear a skirt, kind of. There you go. Ooh. No. I'm t <laughs> We're just discussing business and business, business? proposals. Business. Uh, I'm a big fan of Captain Sparkles. Uh, I got the Sparkles shirt on. God. I don't have bed head, do I? Bedhead? No. You just woke up. I'm wearing like a fancy collared shirt right now, though. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I so know. it's day two. Oh. Of of E3, and I th day one, I think footage-wise for me, kind of abruptly ended because my camera started dying. Actually, I'm like, hopefully this thing is on. Okay, I'm recording audio. <laughs> Good. I always have to check that. Uh, what happened in the events that where we didn't film? What happened? Uh, what did we do? What did... Actually, after we stopped filming, well... Alright, so a quick recap of last night. We uh, we met up right after Super Smash Brothers. We met up with uh, Adam Diction yes. and Gold Buff, and we talked a bit to see how Goldie was doing. He's surprisingly pretty fucking resilient. Um, that spam 404 thing, and we all YouTube channels are pretty much worried that we're gonna get hit by some type of Nazi hall monitor. Some crazy YouTube rule that is grounds for terminating our account. Yeah. So he's, <laughs> Doing pretty good resilience wise, and then after that, um, went and got dinner with everyone. Uh, and by everyone, we mean holy shit, there was a lot of people there. Yeah, uh, it got to the point where we were just kind of sitting at the end of the table. Where we were like, you can't even hear the conversation over there. <laughs> it was a large table. I'm just gonna keep drinking my drink. Yeah, well, here's the thing too everyone else was wasted, but we kept drinking waters. You want to know something? I fucking peed four times last night. Four times. I peed once, so I feel like I was a trooper. I, I don't know if you heard me. I don't know if you, I just, I, I. You were in the bathroom for like 20 minutes, and I was like, Sorry. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I guess, okay. I gotta see if he's in there. Okay, well, that was at the <laughs> restaurant. I had to take a shit, and I just. Okay, you take long fucking shits. Because I sit there, and I'm on Reddit, and I'm just kinda like, alright, this is. It's You're my, just letting it happen. It's my, I like to get it out, get the business done with, and. I like to draw out the business. It's my it's my reflecting period, it's my relaxing time. But no, I when I, when I have a headache, I like to sit in the toilet and just think. I do. I, I do too. It's a, it's a pretty relaxing time. And the shower as well. Yeah. I finally don't have a headache, kind of. I woke up last night, all this night, and I was like, this fucking bed sucks. I had to pee every single hour on the hour. God. Confess everything, man. Uh, confess everything. I feel like this is becoming the chill vlog. The chill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ranting for the sake of ranting. There are people who are shitty who are here. I had to pee way too much. Um, people are way too busy with way too many different things they're doing. And I'm just. I'm done, man. I'm done. I want to go home. Yeah, I always feel that way on the second day. I was like, this. I regret this. <laughs> it's like, well, why do I still come to conventions? <laughs> it's so tiring. It really is. But I'm, you like being around nerds and stuff, the nerd culture? I will say, um, some of the cosplaying stuff was really cool, though. We saw a couple. There's only like four costumes, but those four costumes were actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, there was some chick who was like half naked, and I didn't look. Cause I'm in a really didn't we see someone walking around in like a cop costume when we were in Hollywood? No. 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 Would it be bad to say that we were looking? What? I should I, I cut I, this out. I, I, I gotta get my bags going. See, I didn't go change. That was. Should we cut was, this out? She didn't have fishnet stockings and <laughs> wore like no pants and whatnot. This. See, I I love my girlfriend. God, see, this is weird. I mean, we gotta go. We need to get to the, the convention center. Yeah. Oh, I feel I, I feel like I'm, I can be Frank West right now. Just like. I feel it. Yes. Now I'm gonna make everyone look at the ceiling. Right? Okay. Dude, that Capcom game is so stupid. I, Capcom's making a Super Ultra Omega Dead Rising so they can get 30 FPS. Bye, Internet. Bye. So far. What do I think so far? Yeah. I don't know. Guess I'll find out in about 30 seconds. I'm excited though. I, I wonder if the move sets are the same. That's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah. Three, nice. Alright, we're about to try Smash Brothers on the 3DS. Okay, so the 3DS, uh, Super Smash Brothers, both children are kind of out of it <laughs> right now. Uh, I thought it was alright. I felt the controls were a lot slower. I thought. 
I thought the controls sucked, the button mapping was wrong, the screen was too small, and the character selection was limited. He didn't, I, he didn't like it. I thought it was kind of like the same thing. Yeah, I mean, after doing like, you know, GameCube stuff, I mean, it was I thought, I thought the 3D was okay. I, I didn't even try that. You, you had it off? Yeah. Why'd you have it off? I should, I should at least try it for a minute. Yeah, it, it wasn't bad. It's just, I can definitely see it. It's not going to be competitive. It won't be competitive like the... Uh, the console yeah. brethren is, but I guess it's a fun. I guess it's, to it's, it would be quicker to play that though. Yeah. Against people, if you want, it's like, hey, let's play Smash Brothers That's on our true. DSs. It's quicker and, uh, than we loading up the Wii well, U. You can't, the D-pad doesn't even do anything. I like moving with the D-pad, and then the uh, I, I use the thumbstick. Yeah, I freaking it wasn't working in the beginning. The D-pad wasn't working. And I walked off the cliff right in the beginning. Anyway, I hate this game. Let's go. Okay, I think the Wii U one will be superior. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we are now waiting to play Evolve in the tournaments. I know we started. I feel like I'm nervous. Flem. I made flemmy sounds. Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick audio recording explaining what this tournament was because we didn't really get to do a whole lot of that when we were at the convention. Because day two of the event seemed to be a little bit of a slow day for us. It seems to be like that at most events. Like, we'll get overwhelmed at the on the first day. Then on the second day, we're just like, Ugh, and don't want to do anything. We ended up showing up like three hours late to the event. Uh, we didn't really want to film a whole lot. We were just like, eh, can this day just be over? <laughs> and then we got to the Evolve tournament, and lo and behold, we only played like one game. So anyways, yes, that's just my little, just a little explanation why we didn't have a whole lot in this video. Uh, the Evolve tournament, this was a very smallish tournament, I think, like, in a collaboration with Turtle Rock Studios and The Nerdist. Not too sure who was like the, the head head honcho of it, but there were four teams in the tournament, all of which had like one member of the Nerdist. Our member of the Nerdist uh, was Brian Walton. We went under the name Team Walton. Very clever, am I right? Uh, and we were going up against Team Forte, which was led by Malik Forte. See, you get it? It's, it's their last names. That's that, that's the names of the team. Uh, so on our team, we had uh, Brian, and we had Chilled Chaos, myself, Ghost Robo, and uh, Jobless Gamers. And we kind of took the underdog role in this tournament because... Almost, like, I my, myself, I had no experience in this game. I never played one game before the tournament. I was just going right in. And everyone else, they played, like, maybe, like, one or two games. I think Ghost Robo didn't play any at all. If not, he played, like, one game. So we were all pretty much on the same level. Uh, the people that we were going against, um, I think it was Malik. It was someone on that team had, apparently had, like, the most game time played out of anyone in the world from just playing at all these conventions uh, outside of anyone from 2K because obviously 2K people will have the most experience because they're the developers, they have the most hands-on time and yada yada yada. But aside from all that, we actually managed to pull a surprise victory. So that got everyone super excited. That got me really excited and surprised and I was just like, how did that happen? And we kind of got that like beginner's luck ego boosted and we were like oh my god we actually might win this tournament and then uh and yeah <laughs> this game was actually uh it, it was it was one of the this is one of the most fun experiences i had in a game in a long time i'm not i'm not really too big into the whole esports thing but i actually found myself getting like super competitive and stressed out when playing the game and i'm like oh my god oh my god we have to win we have to win and then we had the shout casters and all that like it kind of felt like it was a real sporting event and stuff like that and i have footage of the actual game where we won uh, on the screen and then in the next in the next video I will be talking about the next round which was is the championship round it was like it was like a two round tournament there were only two teams remember so yeah I'll talk about that in the next video and here just enjoy some of the excitement that happened in the game and stuff yeah harpoon trap he's trying to hit that lightning strike but they're going all in on him now doing damage trying to take that health down past two bars yeah this will be our final fight here 
falling back as much as he can, but he's trapped in the mobile arena. Can he get a good angle on this medic before they take him down? Oh, his health is just dropping so quickly. That's right, Jay Party in Assault, pushing him back into that corner, doing massive damage with the flamethrower. Coming back out, I like this. He pulled Assault into the corner. He's going to dash back out, look for a different angle, see if he can find some weakness on this Hunter Squad. That's looking very strong. That's right, Assault coming back in, doing massive damage. Big Harpoon Traps, Lightning Strike coming in. But they're doing some serious damage. They've got him locked down, and Malik oh. goes down. Team Walton with the Hunter win.